Hi and welcome to Painting in the Shed. Uh, thanks for watching the other videos. Um, if you haven't, please find them here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel and then you'll get notifications of new videos that I do. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to copy a painting I did at a wedding recently. I had a really good response on, on my Facebook page about it, so I thought it'd be nice to try and recreate that for you to show you how I painted it. It's going to be a bit different because I'm going to use oil paint instead of acrylic and it's going to be about half the size, but I'm hoping I'll, um, I'll create the same sort of effect with the light and the the, the colours. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to have a go at that and uh, hope you enjoy it. So here's my stretched canvas. Uh, these are the colours I'm going to be using. Matt's black, it should be Mars black. I put the wrong spelling on there, sorry about that. Anyway, um, I'll start off with the light area where I'm going to put the light on the canvas. So I'm starting off with white and yellow ochre um, and blending in with a small brush here, just putting the paint onto the canvas. Um, I start adding a little bit more um, yellow ochre and a bit, a bit of burnt sienna um, to get darker as I go further out to the edges of the painting. You can also add a little bit of burnt umber as well if you want to get even darker. But it's good not to start off too dark. And I use the big soft brush here. These are all bristle brushes just to soften that area there and blend it all in. I've actually got white where the light is. So there's no uh, bare canvas, it's all got colour on it. This is me softly blending, not pushing too hard with the brush, just using it quite lightly on the canvas. And I'm going back in here, just just to move the light around a little bit. You can wipe it off, you know, use the brush, wipe it off with a bit of, with a cloth if you if you put too much on there. So you're just taking, I'm taking off a little bit here and moving the light around a little bit. That's the joy of um, oil painting is you, you can continuously change the painting as long as you don't cover that that light area with with paint. Here I'm putting in sort of an indication of pillars or trees or something in the background just to give it a bit of texture. This is uh, burnt sienna here, just uh, to the corners of the painting to make the edges really nice and dark. Um, I use a variety of different brushes. Um, I have my favourites, you know, the ones I've used a lot. They kind of have a nice worn edge to them and they're great for blending in the colours with. That's my face. <laughs> Looking very serious there. Um, this is, I'm using a small round bristle brush here and using burnt umber to create the rocks. I'm just drawing them with the paint first where I want them. It's really good to have a rough outline of where you want things when you're, when you're putting in the rocks. So some parts will be sort of shaded and heavy and uh, some will be left quite light blending back into the light. So I've got a hard edge on the left hand side of the rocks and then I've got a slightly softer edge on the right hand side. Here I'm adding um, more burnt umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue just to give it an even darker, an even darker colour. Um, you can use a variety of brushes. I think rocks are quite, quite good with a with a flat square brush. Actually, you get quite nice shapes of the rocks. Here, I'm sort of blending it off, adding some little bits of rocks sort of coming in the side there. So this is like a little platform of rocks, and you can make it whatever shape you want. That's the beauty of doing these kind of paintings: is you can just create your own rocks, your own type of um, shape to them. This is a palette knife I'm using just to create some hard edges, hard light. I think with some of this light I sort of took it off again. I you know, put it put it on then took it off and kept changing my mind. But you can see when you drag it down it gives it a nice texture just by dragging the palette knife across the rocks. Going back in now to blend in the colours a bit more. Decided to have a little bit less light on this, this bottom bit here so I'm sort of using a bit of the colour around and then just blending it into the into my areas here. I'm using a small brush now to bring a little bit more detail into the foreground, a few steps and things. And the steps are created quite easily just by adding um, the burnt umber, burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre, sort of, and just brushing where the steps are. They don't have to have a beginning and an end, they can just sort of blend off into oil paint so it gives it a nice sort of glowish edge to it. You see, I just keep rubbing it with my finger, just putting it on and then, and then softening it with the finger, or you can use a, a, a clean brush. You can see how the steps just sort of disappear off. And they get smaller as well as they go further up. And here I wanted the two little bridges going across the painting. So I'm using a, a, very, a smallest brush now with a bit of um, burnt umber and ultra marine blue. And uh, creating these bridges that kind of almost disappear off into the haze as well. I like paintings that have a lot of light and a lot of haze on them. So you don't see every part of it. Um, it's very hard to do that sometimes to know which bits to leave in, which bits to leave out. But um, you'll get the hang of it the more that you, the more that you paint, you know. And here are my uh, 
people. I say this in all my workshops and stuff, it's just basically an upside down carrot with a head on the top. Um, <laughs> so these are my little people again, just using a little brush, to, but the bottoms of the legs don't need to be very defined, you can blend them off. Um, I think I actually moved these people, I think I did them twice, you can, you know, if you change your mind, just use a little bit of a cloth and wipe them off and uh, paint them again. I'm just using the same colours throughout this whole painting really, burnt sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue and yellow ochre with the white and you can get most so, so many different shades just using those colours and you're more focused on the light rather than the colour of the painting it's nice to practice just doing light and dark and um, scratching off the paint here to, to give a bit of light around the people obviously I lost my steps a little bit behind them so I'm putting them back in uh, nice to have long shadows it makes the light look brighter if you have shadows so make sure you put lots of shadows on things away going away from the light basically whatever direction the light's coming you pull the shadows away from it uh, that's my Canadian flag there um, hello to all people in Canada um, and hello to my friends my new friends I made in Finland I went there this weekend so um, hello to you guys um, and that's basically it I'm sign it with a brush or here I'm just scraping it off with a palette knife we're all finished uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of painting the shed and um, there are more episodes on youtube so please check them out and subscribe if you want to be updated or notified when i do new videos um, I've actually really enjoyed painting this one. I've simplified the image because the original one was quite big and it had a few more things in it. But I quite like the simplicity of this one. If you like this painting and you want to purchase it, please let me know. Um, this one, I'll do a special price of £150. If you're interested in buying it, please let me know. Send me an email either via Facebook or my website, oliverpengelly.co.uk or here on YouTube. There's lots of different ways you can get hold of me. Um, you know the average painting is is about that price upwards so please contact me if you want me to do something special for you um, or someone else that you know I also paint at weddings and conferences and various events so if you'd like me to come and paint just send me an email and and uh, we can talk about how to get there and all those things so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching I'd like to ask my friend Jim Pooley what he thinks of this he's the guy that did the music for these videos so Jim what do you think Hello, this is Jim having another look at one of Ollie's paintings and today we are in the shed. This is where all the magic happens, uh, apparently. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you notice behind me this picture here, which we saw in one of the early episodes. So I'm finally had a chance to look at it. I have to say it probably wasn't worth waiting for, but you know, that's such is life. Uh, it, this is what he uses for a palette, old biscuit tin. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I think this must have been the uh, picture that he's been working on for the last uh, couple of days. So it's um, it's all right, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's um, there's quite a lot of colour around here, and this one's a bit yellow, but um, you know, it's all right, I suppose. So what's this? <laughs> uh, right. Well, I mean, um, not quite sure. Hey, Jim. How are you? You alright? Oh, you found this one. It's, it's probably dry now, but it's not finished. So I'm gonna right. repaint that one. I sort of didn't really want people to see that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, what do you think of the painting? It's fantastic, mate. Uh, yeah. I was yes, just yes. just saying how wonderful. It was. Well, yeah. I left you in here to do a critique, so hopefully well, you said some uh, good things. Yeah. I mean, uh, yep. I definitely said some things. You know. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. yeah good. Good. Well, that's the first yeah. time, isn't it? <laughs> really. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like something, because yeah. yeah. But. Uh, yeah. Well, I thank you for doing the music for all the videos. It's been amazing. No, no trouble, mate. No trouble. Good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm glad that uh, Jim's been able to do a critique too. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and make sure you uh, subscribe and watch the other videos too. And yeah, we'll uh, see you again. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.